Connecting the mic. First, connect the mic or wireless receiver to the recording device. Make sure that on your device, the audio is set to the input that you have the mic plugged into. You're going to want to wear headphones to monitor the audio and make sure that it sounds right. What you want to do is test the audio by making a loud noise next to the microphone, such as snapping your fingers or talking loudly. What we're doing here is trying to make sure that the audio will be recorded from the external microphone and not the recording device's internal microphone. After you verify that you are getting audio from the microphone, clip the microphone to yourself where you are going to be putting it on your subject, which is about at lower chest level. Now, talk in a lower voice, almost whispering. Make sure that you can hear yourself in your headphones and that you're getting a little bit of an audio level. Then, talk loudly, almost yelling. This is very important. If the subject is a loud talker, we don't want the audio to peak. Make sure that the audio is not peaking when you talk loudly. The level should be near the top of the audio meter. Almost peaking is fine. When the audience cheers or gives applause, there is usually no avoiding the audio peaking. Try to predict how the person wearing the mic will be talking. Now turn the mic and recorder off. You can turn it back on when you're ready to record. During a wedding, there may be times when there are multiple speakers or sources you'll need to record that are far away from each other, such as during the speeches at the reception. You will not be able to mic up every individual separately. So, the solution here is to connect your audio recorder to the sound system at the event. Sometimes, you won't be able to make a formal connection into the sound system. In this case, you can use the audio recorder's internal microphone to record the sound. Be sure to test the levels of the signal before you record. We will elaborate more on connecting microphones and where to place the microphones in the next course. Before the event starts, make sure that your audio recorder is recording. You should see the recorder timer numbers running. If they're not running, you're not recording. This is something to be cautious of because some audio recorders you will have to press the record button once to prep the recorder to record, and then press the record button again to actually record the audio. Audio is an important component of a good event video, so be sure to take the time to get the best audio possible.